Hi, welcome back to Hit or Glitch, it's Under the Hood. I'm Daniel. I'm Scott. I'm Alexander. I'm Tim. This week, pull another topic out of the Toma Topics. This week on... Encumbrance versus carry capacity. And how detailing, detailed should you be at tracking consumables? Oh, man. Okay, for me, I'm a new GM, and I really just don't want to bother. I wouldn't even want to bother it anyways. I mean, if, if it sounds extreme, I'm carrying 18 different heavy weapons, and I've got a bag full of, like, three sets of armor. It's like, no, you, you, you can't carry that. No. I mean, but if you're like, okay, I got a Dungeoneer's pack, and I've put some jewels and money and stuff in there, it's like, I don't care. Whatever. And the carrying capacity mechanic is built in to do exactly that, to allow exactly that. Um, that if it's within reason, you can probably carry it. Mm-hmm. Um, I am a fan of encumbrance. Um, I am also a fan of tracking things in a detailed manner. Um, none of you saw it, and you didn't even see it. And when I told you I did it, you were like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> but <laughs> for our one shot, um, my uh, Janus had a very low strength, and uh, carrying shit was going to be difficult for him. Um, I got a handy haversack as a magic item, which each pocket has a weight limit. So I went through, and this is everything in this pocket. This is everything in this pocket. This is everything in this pocket. Um, I've always been a fan of that because uh, I think it adds a level of immersiveness. Um, I had, in the first version of Fourth World, the first time I created it, um, one of the characters there had a horse and stuff, he had saddlebags, but I needed to know where all of his stuff was at, because if it's in the saddlebag and he's not by the horse, he can't have it. Um, And that adds to dramatic tension, that's why I think it's important. Um, So I'm somewhere in between the two of you. I'm detailed in the sense, like you're saying, which pocket is it in? Is it on the horse? Is it in my pouch? Um, That, to me, is important. Taking off every arrow or every day of rations is not as important to me. Yeah. uh, Within reason. I mean, eventually you are going to run out of arrows if you never resupply, but if you're in town regularly... It's like you never talk about my characters going to the bathroom or bathing. <laughs> I assume you resupply your arrows. And whenever you go through town, you resupply your rations. Um, I yeah, just, you should mark you know, off the 12 copper pieces that it cost an entire campaign to do that. But Right. And, you know, and especially... If there's an outlander in the party, I'm not concerned about it because there are features that they can get food for themselves and up to four others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, then definitely don't even worry about rations unless there's more than four of you. In that case, it's still not that big a deal. Yep. Yeah. Um, You have a druid or a magic initiate with the Goodberry spell. Exactly. So I'm, I'm kind of like in between the two of you with that. You know, there's, there's certain things that I want detailed. Mm Mm-hmm. But the super, I guess, monotonous, Mm -hmm. you know, overly anal things, I don't care enough about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, like, most games that you're going to play video game-wise more or less ignore carrying capacity completely. I mean, when you're playing Doom and you've got 30 guns that you can switch between, they all have, you know... Well, 700 pounds um, of ammunition. And I'm not saying go that far. Definitely, <laughs> yeah. you are not Skyrim characters. You cannot have the 12 suits of armor. Um, it's, <laughs> we were playing a game of Storm's King Thunder a year ago, roughly, and I was playing a Goliath. 
And yeah. he could carry around 12 suits of armor at once. <laughs> uh, that was stupid. What, I, I basically created a mini game for myself. Where <laughs> it was, okay, I, I commissioned a chest to be built with chains uh, as to basically act as my backpack. I had a backpack that I hung from my belt. And I think I had a sack as well, uh, plus my belt pouch. And I had a mini game going where I was basically playing kind of a shell game with stuff, moving it. Is it better to have it in the backpack that I can have it here? Is it better to have it in the chest? Um, and there was, there was one point where I, I don't remember exactly what we were doing, but it, it was like, oh, man, and we needed to dig yeah. something. And we were uh, in the, bar- the Utgard Barbarians. We were yeah. in one of their burial areas. And, we and to dig out to see if there's anything. Yeah, because someone there. cast Detect Magic and got a ping. And so and they were like, oh, how, we're going to dig with our hands. And I was like, nope. <laughs> shovel. Here's a shovel Here's a pick. and a pick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the best part about it was, like, if we'd come across, like, for some odd reason, we needed to carry back more than your carrying capacity, you could just dump half of those random, you know, yeah. crap that we find you find on the adventures gear, because psh, you can just get that back in town. Yep. Or the rest of you assholes can help them out carrying things. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. I mean, I'm they, sorry. Yes, I'm, they could have, but no. I, was, I, I, I wouldn't have let them. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I was too busy tanking two giants and a horde of other things when but I had I, the lowest AC. Yeah. But I always made well. That, yeah, that was That's a harder story. Um, <laughs> and you wonder why your characters die so often. <laughs> no, the, BJ was trying. The DM was trying to kill his character, and he couldn't. Yes, it just it didn't happen. It's like this guy has an eighty percent chance to hit him. And he's missed 12 times in a row. <laughs> well, the, from the stories I've heard, because I haven't been in yes. a lot of the games with you guys, because um, you guys have been gaming together a lot longer yeah. than I've been with you guys, trying to kill Tim doesn't work. <laughs> Letting Tim kill himself works. Every time. Every, t- every time. <laughs> so if you really want to kill Tim's character, just let him do whatever he's going to do, and it'll work itself out. Uh but yeah, my, my, the mini game that I had going on that character sheet was basically, this is what's in the chest, and I had it mo- I had it all by weight um, as well. And I basically became the bank, because yeah. uh, I was tracking how much weight the coins, and I think at one point I was carrying 230 pounds of coins. <laughs> I don't remember why, but we ended up with a huge amount of silver at some point. And there wasn't anybody to make change for us, so yeah. yeah. It just meant a huge amount of silver for a good period of time. Mm -hmm. I think I eventually got a bag of holding, and so we stuck like almost all the coins in there for the party just because, yeah, now it's dealt with. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's the other thing. If you give your players a bag of holding... At least try to make sure they're keeping track of the weight, because it only holds five hundred pounds. Yeah. Um, I think I was approaching that limit with the coins that we put in there. It yeah. was it was over three hundred and fifty. I know that. Yeah. But. Uh, and remember, coins do weigh stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what? That, <laughs> this is not in Skyrim. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> often any game. the the best thing that you can do to a group of players is they go in they're in the dragon's lair they kill the dragon dragon horde so much money more than we've ever seen we can't carry any of it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or we can only carry oh this is why we keep the barbarian around <laughs> <laughs> uh, you lost me on that comment barbarians usually have high strength oh and, and they can uh, when they're Raging, they got advantage on strength checks and yeah, stuff like that too. True. So, 
I'm carrying this stupid fucking money. It's all this heavy, and I'm weighing down because of the you stupid. And, hey, you're raging. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, which is like using encumbrance and being somewhat strict on it uh, promotes scarcity in your campaign in the sense that they don't have an infinite supply of this thing. Yeah. I, th- I think it's it, it's okay, but you have to do it from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. So yeah. when they're making characters, it's like, oh, make sure you guys can carry everything you have, check your encumbrance and everything. Because mm-hmm. if you try to spring this on players right in the middle of the game, they're going to be like, this is, this is like suddenly going, oh, by the way, you guys forgot to take a crap or say you were going to the bathroom. <laughs> so you're all crapping yourselves. Uh, awesome. Uh, yeah. It's, um, it's definitely something you want to start from with the beginning from make sure you guys check this. Yeah, and encumbrance is an optional rule. You don't have to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the base thing... Uh, is carrying capacity. Is carrying capacity. And even under carrying capacity, uh, my low-strength wizard was under it. Yeah. So if How we had been cal- doing encumbrance, it would have been encumbered. How do you calculate carrying capacity? Strength times 15. Okay. Yeah, in the Teldori game, um, my druid would have been fine. He had a suit of armor. And that's about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I had a couple magic items that probably weighed more than everything else I had combined. Yeah. And I mean, that was like a pair of gloves and a pair of, uh, or let's see. A sky sail. A sky sail. Oh, and a necklace. The the sky sail probably weighed more than just about everything else I had combined Mm -hmm. if you didn't include the armor. Mm -hmm. So, even with a six strength, he was going to be okay. Yep. (laughs) Anyway, if if we missed something, tell us below. If you have any suggestions for things to go on the Tome of Topics, comment that as well. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.